this video we're gonna cover how to use dependencies in big picture how can we use them to optimize our plan and in our planning process in general but also how to look at them to avoid risks of creating a plan that is not feasible for example this video is part of our efforts to provide the best possible training around jira confluence and whole atlassian ecosystem if you would like to support us, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and remember you can always reach out to us for one of our paid services like training, consultations, or implementations. So let's have a look at my plan in the big picture. Uh, I have some tasks identified, some work linked with dependencies, and we will focus on scenario when I want my plan to be automatically updated right so if i delay this one task i want the change to propagate into all dependent tasks uh, what i will be saying will also be relevant for situations where everything is in manual mode uh, but it will be magnified because every task that we need to that that we want to update will have to update manually in one of the auto modes so auto top down or auto bottom up it happens automatically. So let's have a look at dependencies, how they behave, how they can be colored, what does it mean and what should we do in reaction to different situations. So you can see that at the moment all my dependencies are gray and this is good. This is in general what we want and this is the desired case. So all dependencies are respected and everything works as it should be. Well, but there are other cases in which our dependencies won't be gray and big picture uses different colors to inform us about different things. So let's click on this dependency and you can see over here we have ASAP mode. This means that if the previous tasks end date is moved earlier on the timeline, all the dependent tasks will be pulled in with this one. If we disabled ASAP mode, you'll see that dependencies, dependency gets blue. And it basically informs us that dependency is not ASAP mode. Is that bad? Not necessarily. So we can still delay the task. All the other ones will be pulled over. Now, the case is that if sometimes tasks get resolved earlier and we can update its end date after it's already resolved but it happens for example over here because we overachieved with non asap mode all the following tasks won't be pulled in and maybe uh, this is a good thing maybe this is what you uh, what you want because you know moving tasks around and pulling them over here uh, when it was not planned may impact negatively your resources. So for example, now we are nicely, uh, the, the, the workload is nicely spread across resources. If this task would be automatically moved, suddenly in this area, person responsible for this task will be over allocated. So maybe we want to have non-ASAP mode and we want the dependencies to be non-ASAP. But very often that is not the case. Very often moving tasks slightly on the timeline will not automatically over allocate resource. And in that case, having this non ASAP mode can be a bit, uh, yeah, basically it's, I would say it's not optimal. We want to deliver work as, as quickly as possible, considering that in the future there might be also some delays and and yeah we basically may be able not to deliver our plan because of these delays if we address and deliver tasks that can be delivered earlier right away it can help us give get some more room to deliver for the uh to 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 compensate for this possible future delays so depending on what is your your planning style maybe you're not even keeping track of resources in big picture uh, you need to be aware what is what are the consequences of having ASAP mode and act based on that. So if you really want to focus on automation uh, and on, on delivering everything as quick as possible, you can keep ASAP mode on. Uh, if you need to 
to, so to say, approve its change and be aware what is the impact of the change, you can disable as ASAP mode. And then uh, if, you, if you just shorten the task, you will have to manually move this one to accommodate for, for the uh, previous task finished earlier. One more important thing to mention with the ASAP mode is that with the, the ASAP mode on, it's way easier to revert changes. Sometimes people make changes by mistake, so move the task. 50 other tasks dependent on this one will also be moved. But if we did that by mistake, reverting that without ASAP mode will be challenging. We'll have to potentially uh, move each of these tasks that were updated manually while with ASAP mode enabled, we can just shorten the, the task that by mistake we've changed and everything else should adapt properly. So the dependencies highlighted in blue are one thing. Now you will also see dependencies that are highlighted in kind of a yellowish color. So let's actually try to force big picture to do that. I will change scheduling mode to auto top down. Good. Uh, and I will delay end date of this task. Mm -hmm. Now you will see that this dependency is high highlighted yellow. And this is something that you should, should be looking out for uh, very, very carefully, because this basically means that our plan might not be feasible. Why? So in that case, basically big picture tells us that this dependency cannot be respected. Uh, the end date of this task is later than the start date on, of the task that should be dependent on this one. So why is that? There might be multiple reasons. So maybe we locked this task so that no one updates it and nothing updates it. Big picture does that too. In this case, We've changed the period mode or the scheduling mode of uh, tasks from auto bottom up, where uh, the children task was determining the start and end date of the parent task, to auto top down, where the end date of the parent task limits where the child task can move, right? So, uh, yeah, basically, if we have auto top down, we should create this dependence to the parent, not to the child task. But in general, yeah, now we have dependency to the child. We need to do something about this because otherwise person responsible for this task will try to start working it when the start date is, is located. And it will turn out that they cannot because this task was not finished. They do not have all the input and, and uh, they are basically blocked. So if that happens, we need to look in what was the reason for that. Uh, maybe access this task, see, see the history, why, why it was updated and act accordingly. Maybe we need to update this, this plan, right? Maybe this plan is actually no longer feasible. In this case, it would be sufficient to expand the parent. You see that big picture automatically is able to move the task. There is actually way more reasons why this task cannot be moved. It could be in multiple different boxes. And we could check that by clicking on the, on the task itself and we will see in which box it is located. If it is, is, multi, if it is located in multiple boxes, it might be blocked by something in other boxes, right? So it's really important that if you see a yellowish dependency, you need to take a careful look and decide, does it affect your plan? Or maybe, yeah, it's some, some kind of quirk that's not really impacting anything. But very often, it will require your infer intervention. And situation where, uh, where it was how we've seen it over here. So basically, uh, dependency was not respected in the sense that task that should be finished earlier before this one start is not finished. Uh, are one thing that can happen. Second thing is that there can be unnecessary gap between two tasks. So if I uh, put scheduling mode for a moment to manual, 
you can see that I can create artificial gap between those two tasks, right? This also highlights my dependency in yellow. So basically, if I click lag time is zero, there should be no gap between those two. But because the, the second task is in manual mode, big picture does not automatically move it. And because of that, we have unnecessary gap. Probably our plan could be optimized in the meaning that this task should be started could be started earlier and all the tasks dependent on this potentially dependent on this also could be moved on the timeline maybe whole project thanks to that could finish earlier again you see yellow dependency you need to investigate why this is happening and if i can do something about this so th there will be cases where big picture won't give you and uh, won't update your plans automatically won't give you the solution uh, automatically but in that case, it highlights the dependency. It allows us to see that we need to pay attention to this one. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions about how to use Jira or Big Picture for your planning, for project management in general, let us know. We are very experienced in that area with, with providing our services to multiple different companies. So I'm sure we'll be able to help you. And for now, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.